Ho, 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 day two. What's happening? I'm going to show you real quick uh, four tips or five tips on how you can take over Yelp, all right? Um, in case you aren't aware, Yelp gets about 170 million searches a month in America, all right? About uh, 80 million on cell phones or 90 million on cell phones and uh, 80 million on desktop computers. So you definitely want to be here. You can see Brad Hacker right here. He's number one. Now, how did he do that? He has more reviews than anybody else in his area, right? And you can see, in fact, nobody else, no loan officer in the entire city has another review on Yelp except for Brad. Now, if you look at his profile, you'll see that he has some reviews that are here visible, and he has other reviews that have been hidden, which, of course, is a big complaint that people have of Yelp, right, that they hide reviews. Notice the reviews they've hidden. It's the first time they've reviewed somebody. This person has no friends and no photo where these that have stuck, they have friends, they have other reviews, they have photos, right? They're very active users, all right? So that's the thing is when you're getting reviews over here on Yelp, you have to make sure that they're active users. Now, number one, it's against the terms of service to ask for reviews on Yelp, so just be aware of that, okay? You don't want to get like a flood of reviews. You need them to trickle in slowly. Go to Yelp, do a search uh, in your city for loan officer and for mortgage or home loan and see who ranks and, and how many reviews they have. All you have to do typically is get one more review than the person ranking number one. You also want to get reviews from active users. That's really important, okay? They need to have a photo, friends, reviews, and that kind of thing. So here's four ways that you can find people to give you reviews. Number one, you can find friends on Yelp. Okay, so if you go over here, I can click right here on find friends, and it's going to show me people that I'm already connected to. All right, you can search um, your Gmail account, and you can be able to pull up friends that way. Um, so right here, I could, uh, right here on Facebook, in my email contacts. So there's a few ways that you can find people that way. You can also ask on Facebook, right? So just put a post that says, hey, who's active on Yelp or who likes using Yelp? And then those people, you could go and private message and talk to them about leaving the review. Of course, you can email people after closing and ask them to leave a review. And if people have the Yelp app on their phone, when they come into your office, ask them to check in on the app. Or if they're going to leave a review, ask them to do it from the app because that's the most trusted review source on Yelp. And also when people are leaving reviews, the keywords that they're, you know, the kind of words that they're using in the review is really important because it's going to help your profile to rank higher if they're using words like loan officer, mortgage, home buyer, home loan, you know, your city name, your name, and that kind of thing within their reviews. So hopefully this helps you out. There's five quick ways that you can go out, take over Yelp so that you can be the loan officer people get referred to if they're over there searching for somebody to help them out.